Hey, what is up, guys? Shovel Tricker here, and this is going to be my very, very first video of reviewing, of reviewing a replica title belt. So expect things very, very unscripted, and I' gonna be stutter a lot because I haven't practiced uh English uh speech yet. So yeah, unfortunately, I was going to do a unwrapping or unboxing video as well, but unfortunately, for some reason, ma the video got corrupted. Because there are uh, three lags in the video. There are three instances that there's a lag in the video. So it got corrupted for something. But yeah, I was going to do an unboxing video. But video's corrupted. So I have no choice but to do this. So let's get right into it. And let's see the Intercontinental Replica title belt. And here it is. Oh, <laughs> almost dropped it. Jesus Christ. Anyway, here we go. The WWE Intercontinental Title Belt, my childhood inter my childhood belt ever since Cody Rhodes introduced it. It's very shiny, and for some reason, it's heavy as heck. This is so good. It's literally look like in the TV. It's so TV accurate, and it's large as well. And I'll mention it again. It's heavy as heck. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so. Good good to carry as well man so i'm gonna make you take a closer look of this belt so i'm not gonna film this on the logitech camera but i am going to make a video on my phone because my phone's camera has a better uh better uh, camera quality than my logitech so i'm gonna what am i gonna do first is i'm gonna go from left to right i'm gonna go for the, the i'm gonna go for the side plates the main plate, the other plate, and I'm gonna review the back plate as well. And yeah, let's get right into it, shall we? Let's get right into the uh, phone, shall we? All right, I do apologize if my uh, mic's uh, quality became worse because I'm actually using the phone. But like I said, my cameras, I mean, my phone's camera is actually much higher quality than my Logitech camera. So here we go. So we're going to go for left to right first. And here we go. What I like about here, it's actually, these ones are very tight as well. It's a, And they're actually like a very uh, sued very tightly, which is nice. And let's go over here. Side plates though are very heavy. Uh, what I noticed about that, the reason why it's heavy is because I didn't realize that these are very thick. It's thicker than the WCW Heavyweight Championship title though. So the so these side plates are very different. One is going on the lock end, and one is going for that. I think that Chris Jericho uh 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 lock locked in uh uh walls of Jericho. I think I think that's what this guy is doing. But nonetheless, let's go for the uh. That's the main plate, the Intercontinental title. Very nice looking. I like, I really, I really like as well as the one designed here as well. I really like that little details in the letter and the, I mean the leather. What I do notice about this the one though is if you can see it, it's actually a little bit bump over here, right around here. And yes, it's very finger pink magnet. I don't know if you can see the little dot over there, but nonetheless, the side, the main plate is actually very nice. No scratches, nothing at all. And yeah, very, very shiny. Oh my God, I need to have to like clean this up though. So many fingerprints. <laughs> all right, right side of the plate, uh, same as the left side one, but the only difference here is this thing right here is the is a WWE logo which says Intercontinental and this one as well is very very thick as well and it's curved as well and it's enough as well it's very very tight very very uh shaky with the shaky sound which is I don't mind at all this I think this one is metal as well I don't know if it's metal or not but it's very very uh durable as well okay let's go for the uh back weight over here all right see here this one is a very uh, shaky sound as well as you can see here but nonetheless very very nice very very nice looking belt very very nice back of the belt as well and there is the official replica 
a sign over here and there's nothing special about in the back as well just wanted to show to you guys very very nice belt overall such a beautiful belt i don't know what to say other than beautiful belt <laughs> all right one last thing i wanted to test was the flexibility test okay and as you can see it's not real leather because if it were a real leather it would not stand or be straight like this one it will flop down but mm, it smells like real leather but it's not real leather at all anyway real leather or not this is a very heavy belt because it's made out of metal you can get this in the WWE shop right now i think it's around 130 or 140 dollars off so it's kind of cheap but yeah you can never go wrong to get this one it's such a beautiful belt when i the first time i saw this i was like oh my god it's so tv accurate it's it's literally like when i saw it in the tv oh my god it's so oh my god so tv accurate i love it man oh man this intercontinental title made it so famous like cody rhodes uh, christian finn balor the miz oh my god especially the miz thanks to the miz it, it actually made the Intercontinental title look like a million bucks. Miz, I love you so much. Oh my god. Such a beautiful belt. And my hands are getting numb though because it's heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in my shoulder. Anyway, hope you uh, enjoyed the video. If you do, leave a like and comment on what you think. And uh, of course, I'm gonna do more reviews on the other belts that i have right now and there are more belts incoming so my shelves are pretty empty right now i'm gonna collect more until there's like two of each shelves and yeah that's basically <laughs> so expect me like not to like do more reviews of the belts because i'm doing other stuff like league of legends content and EDC, EDC, etc, etc. And so hope you be patient about it. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye bye.